hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is mink's kinks and as you guys are for the title today we're jumping into some more of my honey's handmade stash y'all know so melba's kitchen collection edition three was recently dropped um they started shipping out orders on the 25th of march so when you guys are seeing this i should actually already have my products but there will be an unboxing and everything for that but i still have some products from the other melba's kitchen collections that i haven't tried so i thought that it would be cute to talk about the first edition and see what my thoughts are on this product that i've never tried so as you guys read in the title this is honey's handmade melba's kitchen collection melba's banana pudding hair smoothie and it's eight ounces so yeah, y'all know that I have all three of the um, Melba's Kitchen Collection boxes, but there's 10 products in each one. So like, it just takes me forever to sort through the products. And I don't know, this one I just wasn't really pressed about using. So if you want to hear my thoughts on this product from the Melba's Kitchen Collection Edition 1, just stay tuned. All right, so y'all know that on this channel, I tell you guys what I used in my hair to um, cleanse before I hop into my styling. So today I went ahead and I used the Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Shampoo. Um, it was my time to use the Sulfate. I use Sulfates once a month if you're new around here. Um, I just feel like they give my hair a different level of clean. So I do it once a month so that I'm not stripping my hair, but this one is not stripping at all. And then I went ahead in with the Dove Amplified Texture Super Slip Detangling Conditioner. Y'all, I promise you, I am going to do a conditioner call on this. I've just been so busy that I don't have time to sit down and do this review. And I have thoughts, okay? So bear with me. This will be coming. I am um, a little over halfway through the bottle, so I have some thoughts. And lastly, I went ahead and I deep conditioned with the Nature's Little Secret Mixed Fruit Nutrient Rich Um hair mask and i do really enjoy this so and i do have a video on this actually already so if you're interested in hearing my thoughts i'll link that up above so that you guys can see that all right so before i take my hair out y'all because i literally just got up out the shower we're gonna go ahead and read the directions and see what the product says to do so it says how to use place a small amount into the palm of your hands and then rub together you can apply it to damp or dry hair um i'm applying it to wet hair because i feel like this is going to be more like a leave-in just based on the consistency and everything but sure honey's handmade it says gently work into your hair and scalp i'm hair and scalp with an extra focus on the ends where there may be more damage and style as you normally would okay so um yeah i'm not putting this on my scalp because no um i like to oil my scalps um as many of you guys know i i put oil on my scalp like hello so this is what my hair is looking like coming fresh out of the shower my hair feels super soft super silky um my hair was not in its happy state all week so i'm glad that what i did to my hair this week was able to get it back but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and section my hair real quick and then i'll come back and we'll talk about this leave-in okay you guys so i'm back and have oiled my scalp already um i've been using the canvas beauty oil um their growth serum whatever it's called but if you guys are new here i like to apply my leave-ins in quadrants and then i split each section into half so that's what my hair is looking like right now y'all can see these bottom curls that's my looser section that's more defined so yeah um so for this to be a smoothie i thought it was a very interesting consistency it's very very liquidy you guys um you guys can see it sort of move around in the jar so that's what it looks like coming out it's very very runny um these type of leave-ins usually don't work for me but we're gonna give it a good old try because y'all know i like honey's handmade so um this is supposed to be a banana pudding hair smoothie and I think it has an undertone of, of banana, but Honey's Handmade is usually right on the money with um, their smells. And for this one, it really does. It smells like a cleaning product with a little hint of banana, not anything, you know, crazy. So I got to tell y'all, I am a little bit concerned about the consistency of the leave-in. I just, it's very, very lightweight. And I'm usually not a fan of lightweight leave-ins, but we're going to try our best um i'm sorry you guys for the low energy i am tired it is 11 o'clock 
it has been a busy day so if you guys are wondering what is up with my energy that is what is going on so i'm gonna go ahead and take what was left on the cap it is a pretty good amount ah i meant to show you guys um y'all know honey's handmade just has a bit of quality issues in my opinion so my container was not all the way full um not a big deal for me because i'm a product junkie anyway but for people who are paying the full amount of money you know i would want my my whole amount of product so for me it's not a big deal but it's just something that i have been noticing with honey's handmaids quality is that they're not always you know like as thorough and i don't know what the word i'm thinking of is but y'all know what i mean so y'all saw um me apply that leave-in and y'all when i tell you it is uh, i mean uh, it speaks for itself so the slip on here is impeccable now i can't really say much about the moisture going on to be honest like it doesn't really feel i'm not overwhelmed with moisture you can definitely feel that there's a product being applied but is it anything crazy for me no but that's okay we're gonna see how it feels when it is you know dry i'm not gonna style my hair on camera today i'm gonna just go ahead um talk to you guys about this leave-in and then i'm gonna braid it up and actually since i'm here i'll show you guys what i'm using i'm gonna be using the pantene curl defining pudding um this is a product i really really enjoy if you guys i am gonna do a video on the pantene gold series but if you guys want to know about that product specifically let me know so y'all can see that that leave-in got my hair all the way together it is sitting on my hair a bit but i'm not really concerned about that but y'all can see that the curls are defined my hair is thick and voluminous like it looks so so good all curls are accounted for and i gotta tell y'all i'm happy about that i'm gonna go ahead seal this in with the same canvas beauty oil and apply this all over my head and then i'm gonna come back once my hair is styled and everything once i'm taking out whatever style i'm doing i'll come back and show you guys what my hair is looking like but yeah so far the application process is amazing the moisture you know it's not anything to write home about for me personally um at least not yet like i just feel like it's a good lightweight leave-in so if you already you know if you have this product still you know let me know your thoughts because i'm not i don't maybe it's me maybe it's me y'all i don't know <laughs> like i'm very impressed with the application process because it was so easy easy so smooth it just glided right into my hair i'm going in with about this much just because it's so watery and liquidy and then i will more than likely go in with just a bit more i'm going to probably use about the same amount more just because this is a thicker section but yeah y'all i'm going to go ahead and just keep applying this leave-in on my hair and then i'll come back once my hair is out okay you guys so i am back and these are my final results like hello and y'all see i did a little bobby pin situation up in the front just to do a little razzle dazzle y'all know a little something um but as you guys can see my hair needs shaped like it's like just all over the place but yeah i'm not sure where to get a curly cut um in pittsburgh so you know it's all right we'll figure it out but yeah these are my final results and y'all it looks so so good so i did use the banana smoothie leave-in and then um, i went in with the pantene gold styling pudding i think it's a pudding um love that pudding one of my favorites i haven't used it in months literally months um but using it just reminded me how much i love it and it's something that i'm going to be pulling out more I love that styler if you haven't tried it you need to try it i am going to do a review on the pantene gold series um but those products are at home so i'm gonna show you how much i used of this smoothie leave-in oh actually it's melba's banana pudding hair smoothie but it's a leave-in y'all 
so i am about here on the jar i don't know if you guys can see that but if i tilt it it's gonna move so i would say i have maybe three uses left um not horrible so yeah what i will say about this leave-in there weren't a whole lot of directions or claims on the jar but i think that it's a really good very very lightweight leave-in so um it really reminded me of the jane carter curls to go weightless leave-in um however this has more moisture for me so that leave-in it also defined my curls really well i do have a uh, revisiting products i don't like on that on that series so i will link that up above but yeah it reminded me a lot of that leave-in but this has more moisture so um it still gave me that same slip it still gave me curl definition but it gave me a little bit of moisture on top so that i loved and it paired really well with the pantene gold series gel but i also feel like that's just because the product is so light so my hair is moisturized it's not it's not like overly moisturized it's not the most moisturized my hair has ever been but that's nothing that i can't fix with a butter sealing it in with a butter instead of an oil but i just wanted to see how this product works but this is definitely a braid out that i will revisit um i really 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 like this leave-in and i actually want to try it with the um, Melba's Kitchen Collection addition to Coconut Apple Curl Glaze Gel. I think that'll give me a really, really good wash and go. So I might also film that. Let me know if you want to see that. But yeah, I love this right here. This looks so, so good. And I didn't want to pick it out too much because this is first day here. Y'all know I do my hair once a week. So yeah, I didn't want to do too much with it. But it looks really good. I'm on no edges today, but I think it still looks, you know, pretty cute so yeah y'all these are my final results i gotta say i really did like this product and um would i repurchase it no but it's also not available for repurchase i think this is just a cool product to kind of try um i do really really like it though i like it better than a lot of the other lightweight leave-ins that i've been using like the curl of essence um green tea aloe matcha whatever one that is like i said i like it better than a jane carter i do really like this one but my hair just prefers heavier leave-ins and if i'm not doing a heavier leave-in i usually like to do a little spray leave-in with a moisturizing styler like the cream of nature um pure honey spray i also like the detanger from that line but and i also love the shea moisture coconut oil collection spray that's really good too but yeah you guys so i do like the leave-in it worked out really well for my hair you guys will see me using this up for sure on my channel and i will enjoy it while i'm using it um it's not available for repurchase so i'm sorry about that but yeah i really do like it so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you guys still have products from melba's kitchen collection edition one because i know that i do and let me know how you guys like this product and i'll see you guys in my next one bye